All right, for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a beat that kind of has like a Drake future OZ type of feel to it, as well as like a couple beats that are on the new Roddy Rich album. Definitely got a lot to talk about for this melody. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna go ahead, preview the beat first, and I'm gonna show you how I made it, especially this melody, because there's a lot of cool stuff that went into it. But like I said, first off, let's go ahead and just hear the beat. So I'm gonna start it from like right here so we can just get straight into the beat. number one thing for me that I like most about this beat is actually the melody. So let's go ahead into the melody first and kind of break this down. I'm gonna show you how I did it and how you can create something similar to this. So inside of this first pattern, we're actually using flex. So I'm using this preset right here inside of flex. And then let me go into the MIDI and show you. It's pretty simple and it's not gonna sound the same because there's a lot of stuff I gotta show you as far as like reversing it and flipping it. That is what I did to get it to sound the way it does. But this is what it sounded like at first. So I laid down some chords as you can see here, it's just three chords. We are in B minor. So we have an inversion right here. I can go ahead and bring this down and then you'll see we just have a B minor chord. And then the rest of the chords are pretty simple as well. And then I have a quick little melody going, but this is what it sounds like by itself. I went ahead and started to build out a quick little melody that repeats. All I did was start on the one of the scale, which is the B, and then I found some tension notes. So I went from B to D, right, which is up two notes in the scale, back down to C sharp. So there's tension here, and then I used the tension notes here as well, which is going to be F sharp and G. And that just gets repeated over. So all we have going is the same rhythm. This is going to be the same right here. But instead of playing the D and the C sharp, I went ahead and went to F sharp and then down to E. Then this one changes a little bit after this. So you'll see these two are the same, right? So it got pasted over. But then I didn't want it to go back to this. I wanted this to repeat three times. And then I did another run over here from B to A and then to F sharp. So that kind of gives it a little bit of a difference as far as like the first four bars and the second four bars. So instead of just reversing this, since I want it to still play in the same order, we're going to go Control A, and then we're going to go Alt Y. And that's going to flip it like that. But then when we go ahead and export it, and to do that, all you need to do is go over here, and you could just like take this, Control Alt, and then C, and that will render it out like that. And then once you have it rendered, all you need to do is hit Reverse, and then it'll be reversed. So from there, I went ahead and pitched it up just one semitone. We have an EQ kind of taking out some high end, low end, a little bit of mid range buildup. I put a doubler on it to widen it out. And then I put a reverb on it. So after that, I layered in another pad. This is from my one shot kit, which is free. You can download that for free. And all I did was a quick little melody. This isn't even anything crazy. This is just like a few different notes. I actually need to go into here um, and change this over to where the melody's at. So we went up one, now we're in C minor. So I started on now the new root note, the new one, which is going to be C. And then real quick, you know, again, I kind of follow the same melody from the other one. Start on the one, hit the three, down to the two, and then just kept it moving and created this little small melody, which is pretty simple. And the change up. right and for that there's just a little bit of eq and then that gets layered in sounded better dry because the other melody has a lot going on so after i had that i went ahead and grabbed a vocal and this vocal is probably arcade it's right here and that just adds in this vocal right here fits nicely. A little bit of EQ and a little bit of reverb. And then after that, I went straight into the drums, except the sub bass, which I'll explain in a little bit. So for the snare, it's going to land on the three. And then I have one note in here that kind of gives it a little bit of bounce. So I'll play the metronome so you can kind of hear where it's landing. So 
So pretty simple for that. And then we get into the hi-hats, which is just a quick little two-step with what, like a couple rolls. There's one here, here. That's it really, it's like two rolls. So let's go ahead and play that. And then just gets repeated. So this is actually done in triplet mode. So you can come right here, go to one third step. And then all I did was take this, boom, 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 create one there. And then over here, there's just spacing. So I caught like, what is this? The start of the fourth bar. And then I spaced it out like this. And that gives us what we hear right there. And then that just gets looped over, except for the last bar, there's another one added here, which is a bit longer. So if you see what I did was like a fast roll, then I spaced one more, and then I spaced two right there. So we get three different types of rolls, and they're all in third step, and they sound really good. And then this one, a little bit of velocity move. So it kind of has like that stutter effect where it goes down and then back up. And then finally, we get into the 808. 808 pattern, I want it to be a little simple, a little bouncy, so nothing too crazy. This one's gonna be kind of easy to follow along. You can see if I put this back to, let's go ahead and put this back to cell real quick and I'm gonna just play this. And I'll put the metronome too so you can hear like where it's hitting. So in order to get that bounce, what I really recommend is following your drum. So listening to where the hi-hat fills are at and that snare that's kind of like that offbeat swing snare that's not landing on a three. So you'll see right here, there's gonna be a snare that hits in between each of these, which kind of like triggers the 808 to go off. It doesn't actually do that, but you know, they kind of play off each other. Like when the snare hits, the 808's kind of after it. That's definitely gonna help out the bounce. And then for the kick, the kick just accents like three, I think, no, four. So there's four. So let's go ahead and play that. That one's kind of self-explanatory. It's just gonna hit on different parts of the 808. Perfect. That's so much swing to it. So then the last thing that gets added in is this sub bass. That's just gonna follow the root notes, but instead of going down, I went up to this G. So I took the root notes from the piano and then I did that one semitone down from G sharp to G to kind of give it a little bit of variation. So after that, that was pretty much the whole beat. And then there's random little transitions. So when the verse comes in, I went ahead and added that sub in and took the 808 out. And then I kind of bring it back later. And it's not like a crazy beat, but it's enough melody and it has like a nice little dark vibe to it where someone could kind of sing or rap on it, depending. I'm gonna play the full beat right now, but if you wanna hear the entire beat, there will be a link in the description to hear that. So if you go over there and show some love, I'll really appreciate it. Let's hear the full beat. 